fine tuning a large language model or an embedding model is still a mystery for many and rightly so this is a brand new field which is evolving every day and when i say every day i mean it literally every new day there is a new technology new concept and more often than not previous concepts are being overwritten by the new ones and then the process is going on and on and on and lot of things are still very murky and in flux in this video i'm going to tell you in simple words and also show you a demo from llama index how the fine tuning for embeddings work before i go there let me explain what fine tuning is and what are the types of fine tuning fine tuning simply means to enable a large language model to work on your own data and to improve the accuracy of retrieval of data so that's fine tuning is now there are two types of fine tuning one is called as fine tuning the embeddings and the other one is called as fine tuning the model fine tuning the model simply means to point the model to your own data set and then model will have your domain specific knowledge when we say fine tuning and embedding that is a bit different let's understand what embedding is as you know llms or large language models can work on wide range of tasks including question answering information extraction and sentiment analysis these tasks require huge corpus or volume of data the llm is trained to generalize across many domains using this enormous amount of data which can be extracted from anywhere from the internet now the process of fine tuning and embedding involves changing your llm to better suit the domain of your data as i just said what is embedding embedding is a numerical representation of that text data because llms only understand that numerical representation or vector representation of data and these vectors could be multi dimensional vectors are simply matrices where numbers are arranged in rows and columns i have various other videos where i explain it in great detail in a simple language okay now if you look at this uh, notebook from llama index it shows you a step by step process to fine tune embeddings model in order to fine tune an embedding model there are three general steps as you can see in this notebook first and foremost you need to prepare your data once you have prepared your data and preparing means you create a trained data set and a validation data set and it should be in a specific format which you can easily do with this function which is called as generate qa embedding pairs and it is simply question answer pairs from your own data second step is to fine tune that model on that data so that model would know what that data is and in the third step we evaluate to see if that fine tuning was successful or not if not then we repeat the process okay so the first step we need to do is to import some of the libraries from llama index as we are doing in this step once that's done this is where they are downloading the data with w get command and for this data set they are using ubers pdf file for their training data set and lift data file for pdf files for validation data set so we will generate our embedding uh, model through this file and then we will validate it on this file and there are we are storing these files in these variable train files and validation files and then this this is the path where will the corpus um, training and validation will be placed and this is a function where we are simply calling and loading the files so you can see that the uh, this is where the files are being loaded and then we are parsing them and then creating the nodes out of those uh, files and this is stored here and we are returning these nodes now once that's done we are splitting this in training and validation chunks and then you can see it here that we are loading corpus and this is our train node this is our validation nodes once that is done 
then we use um, any other any model to generate question using each text chunk in the corpus or the data as context and each pair of generated question text chunk or context become a data point in the fine tuning data set and this is uh, how we do it first we are importing this and once that's done we are passing our training node and val uh, validation nodes to this generate QM embedding pair and it will generate the pairs there here we are saving it once that's done we are loading them and once the load is done we are starting our fine-tuning process with this function sentence transformer fine-tune engine we are passing it to a train data set the model we are going to use where it should place the new model which is a fine-tuned model on the basis of our data set and then we are starting our fine-tuning job batting model is here and then you can print it out and then once that's done these are the steps to evaluate it and this is a simple evaluation function i'm not going to into this detail because i don't think so this is a better way of doing it there are a lot of other good tools like uh, weights and biases which you can embed here and check with that uh, i believe this is still a bit complex and doesn't really um, represent the evaluation one but the general steps are uh, these that you first prepare your data set then you fine tune your model if you're using llama index then you use this um, function once that's done you evaluate it with either with um, llama index this evaluate system function or with any other online tool and i would highly recommend you use any other online tool that's easier to use and the quality is much more better and you might just get some visualization out of it which always makes it very easy because when you're dealing with huge amount of data with various models and you want a comparison you uh, really need some visual or maybe graphical tool which would give you the whole picture in quick way so that's it i hope that you um, enjoyed this and found this useful if you have any questions or um, thoughts and if you're already doing it and if you know any other better way of fine tuning a padding model please uh, share it in the comments because you're all learning it's all new so i'll be very grateful if you do that and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.